Welcome to Oxford English Hub. We're going to show you everything you need as a teacher to get started and ready to teach. To start, go to OxfordEnglishHub.com. If you already have an Oxford ID, you can use it to sign in straight away. Your Oxford ID is the username and password you use to access Oxford University Press websites like Oxford Teachers Club, Oxford Learners Bookshelf, Oxford Online Practice or Oxford Learners Dictionaries. If you don't have an Oxford ID, no problem. You can easily register for one by selecting the Register button and completing your details in the online form. You'll then be asked to sign in using the Oxford ID you have just created. The first time you sign in, you'll be asked to select your role and you'll then see your Oxford English Hub dashboard and your My Classes tab, where you can create and access your classes once you've joined your organisation. You'll also see your My Courses tab, where you can access your course material once you've redeemed an access code. It's easy to redeem an access code for your course. Just go to the My Courses area and select the Redeem a Code button. Enter the access code in the side panel and select Redeem a Code again, and then Done. You can then see your course displayed in the My Courses area of your dashboard. Select the course to see all the digital material which has been unlocked by the code you've redeemed. If you have redeemed a Teacher Digital Pack code, you will have access to all the digital materials for the course. This includes the student book and workbook classroom presentation tools and online practice, which you can simply click on to start using. You'll also have access to the course assessment, get started support for the course, and both the teacher's resources and the student resources, which you can see by selecting the Student View button in the Resources tab, as well as professional development to support your teaching. Once your organisation administrator has registered your school on Oxford English Hub, they'll send you an email inviting you to join the school as a teacher. Just follow the link in the email to either sign in if you already have an account or create your account if you don't and you need to create one. You will see the invitation after you've signed in and you can select join. Speak to the organisation administrator if you don't receive this invitation and they can resend it. Once you and your students have been invited to join the school and you've accepted your invitation, you can get started and create your classes unless the organisation administrator is going to do this for you. Creating classes is easy in Oxford English Hub. The first step is to select the Create a Class tile in the My Classes area and give the class a name. Then select Next. In step two, you can add students to the class. Just select the Add Students button, then choose the students you want to add from the list that appears of the students that your organisation administrator has added to the organisation, followed by the Next button. Or, if you want students to join the class themselves, you can use the class joining code. But only the administrators have access to these codes, so you will need to ask them to send it to you, so you can send it on to your students. You can skip this step and add students later by clicking the Next button if there isn't a list of students to select from. Or if you need to ask the administrator for the class joining code to pass on to your students. In step 3, you need to add the digital part of the course material that the students in the class will be using so that their completed activity scores are visible in the class gradebook. If your school purchases the course material on behalf of students and in digital format, you can assign it to the class with a license or access code, which gives them access to the digital course material. 
This means that students won't have to enter their own access codes. You can only do this once your organisation administrator has uploaded the licences to your organisation account. Or if students buy their own course material and are going to redeem the access code themselves, you can assign the course material without a licence. Select the Add Course Material button. By default, you will see a list of courses relevant to your country. You can change the country if you want to by clicking on it and selecting another one from the drop-down list. In the Browse by Series tab, find the course from the list that appears. You can use the search bar and enter the series name to help you find it if needed. Another way to find the course component to assign to the class is in the Browse by Products tab. This is useful if you have the full component or author name or the ISBN to search by. In the Browse by Series tab, click on the blue arrow to the right of the course your class will be using. Then select the course level from the Level drop-down menu at the top. If there are multiple editions of the course, the latest one will be visible. You can change this selection using the Edition drop-down menu. You will then see a list of digital components for the level and edition of the course you have chosen. And you need to select the one that the students in the class will be using, such as the online practice, the student ebook, or the student digital pack, by checking the box to the left of it. You can select more than one depending on what materials they will be using. Then click the Next button. If your organisation administrator has uploaded licences or access codes to your organisation account for you to assign to students and give them access to the digital part of the course, you will see that the Use Organisation Licences toggle is green. Below the component name, you will find details of how many licences will be used. If the students in the class will be redeeming their own access codes, you can turn off the Use Organisation Licences toggle. Click on Add Learning Material to add the course component or components you've selected. Then click Done. Click Next and you will see that the class has been successfully set up along with a summary of the number of students and the course material you've added to it. Class joining codes are an easy way for students to join both the organisation and the class themselves and useful if they have difficulty accessing the email invitation sent by the organisation administrator asking them to join the organisation. When you create a class, a class joining code is automatically created for it. Only the administrators can see these codes so you'll need to ask them to send it to you so you can give it to your students, unless the administrator is going to do this for you. Students can then sign in to Oxford English Hub and enter the class joining code by selecting the Join a Class button in their My Classes area. They will then be added to both the organisation and the class. Once the course material has been assigned and students have started to complete the ebook and online practice activities, you'll be able to see their scores in the class gradebook within the progress area. Just select the class from the My Classes area. You'll be taken to the progress area for the class. The gradebook includes the progress data for both the course online practice and the student ebooks in one place. Just click on the online practice or one of the ebooks to see the gradebook for each of them in more detail. You can remove students from classes if you need to. Just select the class followed by the People tab, then select Remove from class from the drop down menu on the right next to their details. If you have any questions and need more help, just go to the Help and Support for Teachers. 
where you can find frequently asked questions and detailed instructions, which will guide you through each step you need help with. If you can't find the answers you need, you can contact us directly by going to the Contact Us section of Help and Support. You can either send us an email using the online form, phone us or use the live chat feature. We hope you enjoy using and teaching with Oxford English Hub.